Hey guys, Alexander Williamson here. Secret history, living inside your aquarium. What are we looking at here? Well, we are looking at some scarlet baddis again. I want to talk about sneaker males really quick. So, a sneaker male is a male fish that appears to be a female in almost every way uh, until the the main male is dead or until they're far enough away from other fish that they can kind of pretend to be the the top dog if there's just some females hanging out alone. And then they don't need to uh, risk fighting, damaging themselves, dying. They don't need to bulk up. They don't need to use the calories, evolutionarily speaking. They don't need to use the calories towards um, uh, looking fancy and growing out big fins. And so a lot of times they'll actually just hang out like this and they'll befriend a male and the male will think that it's just one of his females. The, the males actually produce uh, female hormones, which is interesting. Uh, and then something can click. Either the male dies or whatnot, and they end up completely uh, turning into this. I mean, the, they'll turn right into a, a dark, scarlet, uh, baddest male. Um, and so that's really hard sometimes when you're breeding a colony, you want, when you're trying to pick one and two. Uh, the fin size is one thing that helps. A lot of times sneakers will have fin size that's still grown big enough. But here we can see actually the belly and that there are lumps in the belly near that dark spot, which is typically called the gravid spot in live bears. But really in a lot of fish, it's just their, their anus. And so their digestive tract exits there. Now, in this little tank, I actually have another one, another, uh, come on, another uh, Scarlet Baddis, if we can get it to come around. Let's see here. Um, and this one is actually a male. So whereas this one here... So you see the stripes here? The females can have stripes, but they don't always. And now you're starting to see some blue on that gill a little bit. Whereas the other one we were just looking at, she, let's, let's see, we move something around real quick here. She has no markings whatsoever, if we can take a look at her. Come on. And she had those belly protrusions. I don't want to hurt her. She is just being a difficult gal. Come on. Try to squirt some water. To, there we go. All right, so she's got some light. Uh, you can see that she's got some light protuberance, I guess, here. I hope I didn't smush her just then. Um, but she doesn't have all those stripes, um, whereas the other one right now does. And so you can see that belly where the anal um, fin would be, like right here, is just swollen. And like there's like an olive green. Whereas this <clears throat> gal, in quotations, she has stripes. And her belly is more flattened. Uh, more more flattened. Uh so that's that's all I had to say was basically that there is such a thing as when I'm trying to colony breed, sometimes I'll think I have all the females. And a lot of times you won't see stripes, you won't see any of the indicators. There's just the only thing you can do is uh, time, uh, other than I suppose you can inject hormones into the water if you're doing this on like a industrial level or scientifically you know funded level or something. Um, but clownfish can do this too, where they actually change gender and they become, you know, whatever's in demand. A female, a male fish can become female fish. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, in this tank right now, I kind of tore it up getting out all the scarlet baddest. There's also another colony in here in the dark quarantine tank. It's usually a quarantine tank. No one's being quarantined right now. But I have a bunch of shrimp that are getting ready to hatch um, right in here. And so these uh, baddest will eat every single shrimp in the tank uh, between the three of them. 
within the first few days of them being born. So for for a temporary uh, movement, I'm either going to put them in here and put an air stone in here, or I'll just uh, put them in another tank, maybe add them to the, the colony in the five gallon. But I thought I would share that possibility with you and the fact that um, gender is fluid, you know what I mean? Sexuality, whether fish like the girl fish or the boy fish, that doesn't seem to... Uh, always, like, I, I haven't seen much literature on, you know, homosexual fish or anything. Um, however, there's definitely a lot of literature on different species where the male will pretend to be female only in hopes of evolutionarily there's two strategies. You pretend to be female, you're not a threat, so the big male that can beat you up uh, ignores you completely and thinks you're just a little poser fish that's not a problem. Uh, see, now you can see those stripes even more, more flushing in the cheeks. Whereas the female, she has a very true... Um, I'm, I'm afraid I might have scuffed her scales or something happened. Uh, I don't think the water turkey baster would have done that. So I don't know. We'll see. But her eye is also dark. It's very odd. Um, so, I don't know. I'll have to take a look and keep an eye on her. But there's a good chance that since they've been in here for uh, over a week that they already laid eggs. But yeah, so the, the two styles are pretending that you're a female. And then at the last second when the guy and gals are actually fertilizing eggs, those secret males still have all their sexual organs and they um, reproduce and they um, they put out milt that fertilizes all the eggs before the other guys get uh, can get to it or the other uh, the other strategy is to just totally lay low and then when there's a quiet moment or in the corner these guys will outlive the flashy bright red fish that's always sizing up other fish shaking making noise uh they get eaten at a much younger age usually uh just by other species and things so all the other one has to do is outlast it uh it doesn't even need to try to be sneaky or anything uh so that's another way that they can do it um yeah both sides of the fish are looking like that maybe they're just markings i don't know we'll have to keep an eye on it um, but yeah, so I've got uh, probably a dozen still of these baddest, and there's a good amount of females and males right now, so, uh, yeah, that's the little update, I gotta do something with these guys, the other small aquarium's down here now, and, uh, I'm gonna go work on the big aquascape upstairs, even though my angelfish wants to rip it apart, so if you like, uh, just these little updates on the projects I'm working on, little quirky things, uh, not necessarily a whole story time. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, give it a thumbs up, or leave a comment of like, yeah, I like this or that, this part or that, or no. Dude, stick to, like, history, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, let me know. And I'll try to listen to y'all, because you are the people, and when the people speak, I listen. All right, guys, I will... Talk to you later. Please take care of the critters in your care. The people around you. The critters around you too, I guess. The people in your care, definitely. And yourself, so you can do those other things. If we all do that, hopefully everyone will be covered and we'll all take care of each other. And it will be a happy, happy, joy time. Alright guys, talk to you later. Links in the description below if you want uh, t-shirts with my artwork or uh, to support through Patreon if you're still listening. I mean, if you're still listening, wow, you're, you're a diehard. Uh, so thanks. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.